Kia ora everybody, my name is Twiggy Johnston Welsh and I'm a public health advisor for Regional Public Health and my role over COVID was an all-rounder. Um, kia ora, my name is Lau Shi, I'm one of the health protection officers at Regional Public Health. Oh, I'm Rocky, I am, I was working in the call centre. Kia ora, my name is Jean McCartan, I'm a, um, a public health advisor. Uh, my name is Helen, I'm also a health protection officer and during the COVID response my main roles were with the, the Board of Health. Uh, but once COVID kicked in, put that to the side and started doing, um, yeah, all around it, pretty much anything that they wanted me to do, which was cool. Cool, I'm Siobhan, um, and I was working as graphic designer and admin, so um, my normal role, but I was focusing on all COVID related things. The whole of RPH did work well together. Um, everybody in different teams and um, different uh, our colleagues you know came together worked collaboratively we were doing the, um, the food banks as well and so it was just awesome and rewarding being you know seeing all this food that we were able to distribute to all families there was a lot of um, camaraderie and people were just not shy about doing this what can we do where do you want it done how long do you want it done for? <laughs> I mean, people just really um, yeah. came forward, didn't they? Towards the end, the um, the communication and the collaboration worked so well that we were able to achieve um, most of the things um, that you know that we needed to for the safety of New Zealand. And even this lady came from Australia with toilet paper. No lies. She walked through customs with her toilet paper. I was like, what the? You didn't like that, but hey, you know. At the border, the yeah. main challenge we would have faced was just the speed at which the situation changed mm -hmm. and the requirements changed. Every day another country or another yeah. um, part of the world was added and then, mm -hmm. um, yeah, until yeah. it came just a full on blur. In terms of changes in case definition, changes in border advisories, where we had to understand, prepare and respond mm -hmm. at the same time. My major stress was just, just worried about me and my family. Yeah. You know, like you said before, just mm. bringing COVID back home and... Yeah. Yeah. I'm probably most proud of the um, COVID contact tracker that um, myself and the communications team developed. Um, it just stemmed from, I remember it was a over the phone meeting with um, the comms team and myself and um, just getting the idea of what could go in it and then it just, what it is now is, you know, quite amazing. Um, to be able to have developed that and it's out in the community now so it's cool. Yeah. You know, seeing some familiar faces and seeing that they're, they're doing the mahi and the, they're getting stuff done. Mm. Um, so that was good and knowing that I wasn't, you know, we weren't the only ones out there doing stuff. Yeah. But listening in on that press conference when we were going from three to four and it, it almost felt kind of surreal like we were going to war and people were very quiet and but everyone, I think, in that same breath was ready for whatever was going to come our way. And they were really committed. They, it, I just got that sense that, right, we're, gonna, we're going into battle and we're going to do this. So, oh, I'm getting goosebumps just <laughs> thinking about it. It's weird, yeah. Telling everybody, all the people I've been working with is like, hey, have you got your pandemic plan already sussed? You know, like that, because this is the best time and, you know, to, to really um, encourage people to get that done.